presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling problem with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. We're kicking into Labor Day, I mean Memorial Day. Gotta love it. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 638. You get the NASDAQ up 174. S&Ps are up 71. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ of 1.4%, 2% in the Dow Industrials, and 1.7% in the S&P 500. Gold, gold contract up $13, traded at 1861 an ounce. We got silver up 14 cents, $21.82 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $110.29 a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note. Trading down 19 ticks at 119.16. The 30 year off a full point plus 20 ticks at a price point of 140.05. And King Dollar, King Dollar's taking it on the chin out here. That's down 1,051 ticks at 102.100. Euro is out here at 106. Yen is at 127.92. And the British pound is at 125. Five to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got some divergence out here, folks. So this is going to get pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. And if you're a bull, this is not what you did not want to happen. And this is why. Okay, so you take a look at the SPY first. We did with the SPY. You know, the B point on the SPY was this uh, 385.15, okay? We needed 125 million shares. Bottom line, you got 131, you, you blew by it, okay? Now you're on the other side of it. So that makes it a complex ABC structure. So what is a complex ABC structure? A complex is you come down, you break the B, you don't hold price. I mean, in this case, you go back above it. Then what ends up happening is that you normally go higher, you probably go back to the C point, you, go, you could go higher than the C point, and you're going up there with light volume. Then you come right back downtown again. And, you know, guess what? That's what we're doing out here today. Now, it's going to get intriguing for me out here today, and it should for you also, is to make sure that the SPY itself can at least close over the 397.03. It, it, it should be able to do that. Bottom line, if it doesn't do that, that's just really showing how weak this market is. So I expect what you're gonna see here the rest of the week is that you're gonna see a sideways to slightly higher movement, contraction of volume, and what that is, and that's the reason I, I says if you're a bull, you don't wanna see this, is that you never like to see building cars at lows. Building cars at lows means that the market's just getting more energy up in order to make your le next leg lower. We gonna take a look at the uh, Qs, you're gonna see the Qs, did not, they, the Qs broke the low. The, the low of the B point out here was 284.94. We got down to 280. Bottom line though, you only had 91 million shares versus the 120. So you're not, you know, it's not an ABC structure down. 
Bottom line with the Qs, you get the contraction of volume. More than likely, you get a little bounce, and that's going to go right back after this B point again. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract's trading up $12.80. Gold still needs more volume. You're clearing price. You're definitely clearing price, but you know you get a roll that's happening simultaneously, but guess what? Gold needs more volume. Um, you know, we broke the downtrend. We broke the downtrend last Thursday. Last Thursday, uh, it was a nice sign of strength, no doubt. Gold went from that 1814 to 1854. You can see it's, it's a clearly defined break. And, you know, that's saying that now gold's going to make the run to 2009. And if we go over to King Dollar, uh, King Dollar's spelling it out, man, in spades. Now, I'm going to bring King Dollar up on a longer basis so you can see how this shakes out. So King Dollar, first off, you know, it was, let me bring this up. Hold on one second. I'll bring this up so you can see the full consolidation. We've been in a consolidation for seven years. And it's quite a consolidation, man. You know, that's, that's why, you know, it's interesting. People like to, to trade, you know, basically currencies because, you know, that uh, John Henry, the bottom line, who bought the Red Sox, okay, he's a trend trader. Like if you're using, you know, Basil is a trend trader in a big way. And if you're using something like that inside of, uh, well, inside the market, it was phenomenal too because we've had a trend for so long. Um, but my point is, is that, with the the currencies trend quite a bit and if you take this you're going to see that the bottom line is that we've been in this consolidation going all the way back to 2015. now when you fail at highs folks what, well here let me just show you okay so the first high was established in 2017 or well, the first high was established in 2015. that high was at a hundred dollars you know bottom line pulls back where do we pull back to you pull back to 91. Your next high was established, and this is the top of the trend, was March, uh, January of 2017. You hit 103, 280, couldn't handle it, it was down to 89. Ran all the way back up, made 102, 92, couldn't handle it, ran, ran back down to 90. This time we broke it. You broke it, and when you break it, folks, and you can't hold it, it's a huge problem. So my take now, bottom line, it'll take a year, two years, whatever it is, 89 is the number on the way back down. So we'll see how this uh, shakes out. Now, just the opposite correlation, of course, is that if you're going to Europe this summer, man, go buy the euros right now, because this is saying the euro, we're at 106, that's gonna go start going up to 114, and you're gonna see if we bring this back, do the same type of exercise on it, what you're gonna see, there she is. You're gonna see that, oh, this gets even more interesting, actually, because the euro didn't even break out as low. 103. 5.2 is the low. We went, oh no, hold on. 103, 103.5.2. 103.41. 103.41 was the low. It went to 103.50. Yeah. Missed it by nine ticks. Bottom line, that's saying that now the euro wants to go back to 125. So, and which, guess what? It totally makes sense, too. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down, uh, trading up rather, 597. Nasdaq's up 146. S&P's up 65. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. DFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 594. The Nasdaq's up uh, 147. S&P's are up 65. Let's go take a look at that silver contract. So uh, bottom line is that uh, we have gold off the bottom. Uh, silver's up 10 cents. We're trading 2178 right now. This didn't hold price today. So this is going to need more volume, too. Now let's go take a look at some of the silver stocks. So... Pan American Silver first. This is, a, this is always a strong stock. Um, you know, the last downdraft started at 30 bucks and goes down to 20. How about that? 33%. Now, the swing low out here was $20.73. We got to $20.59 and rejected lower price. Then, as of Thursday, you did get a sign of strength. So, that's telling me, when we're looking at all of these metals, folks, what you want to look at is where they were trading basically uh, the, 20, uh, the, the 5th of May. That's where I expect they're going to start building some cars, make their way up to that area. In, in Pan American Silver's case, that'd be 2616. Uh, um, if we look at uh, Endeavor Silver, this is a highly volatile stock in a monster way. Uh, this is trading 361. This is a silver stock also. And there we go, one second. Okay, so come on, baby. How'd that do that? EXK. Okay, so we bring this baby up. I'll put this on a weekly. Okay, so you came back to the bottom. Although this come back right to the breakout area. So this is this is a classic. Okay, the breakout area was two ninety six. You had volume of seventy three million. You made it to three oh three dollars. And you had 28 million. And you're at 361. So you're back inside the higher range. So this wants to run to now to 578. You know, um, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. But that's how that's setting up right now. Uh, we'll go take a look at Hecla. So Hecla is trading 476. This went back to its strength, rejected it, and it's in the higher range again. So 450, it's at 470, that's saying it can go back to 766. They're, they're all set up the correct way. What's going to get really intriguing here is watching how the aspect of this dollar um, 
helps the market because I think what we're going to see out here, we're, we're coming into Memorial Day weekend, so it totally makes sense. You got a little bounce going. You could, every day as we get closer to Memorial Day, the volume will contract, and what that sets up is that that, that sets up a, uh, the next leg down. Uh, we go over to and we take a look at Bitcoin out here. Uh, Bitcoin's trading this 29,300 area. And, you know, we spiked down to this uh, area here of, uh, what, the 25,024. That was about two weeks ago. And, and, you know, if we take a look at this chart, you know, I mean, you don't have to be a big chartist to really understand that, okay, you broke everything, you know, um, and guess what? The original breakout area on this is uh, 13,000. So it's like, okay, it's game for 13. And we'll find out if, you know, at that 13, they'll say, okay, I, I want to go to the back. To the, if we get to the bottom line, folks, in Bitcoin, if you get to 13,000, you'll go to three. Well, you don't have to go to three. I'm just saying that what does happen is this. That, that would be such a beaten. That would mean that anyone that bought it from November of 2020 is in a losing position. Um, and that, that sets up a much lower price. I mean, you know, if we've learned anything, um, you know, about those coins in general, um, <laughs> uh, they don't have a value, man. They, ha they have a value if you buy them and you sell them to something else, to someone else. But that's it. That, that's what it comes down to. So, you know, it's an, a closed, it's like app, what Apple did, you know, with their, basically it's their system in general. It's, it's a closed game. And, you know, the bottom line is that you, you got to hope. Uh, Tommy was talking about this morning. This, this is, I, I thought, a great, you know, topic that he brought up. Because he, he was talking about, um, I think it was Tether. And the way Tether works. Is it Tether? I believe it was Tether. And, and what it w was about was that the stable coin staying at a dollar. And he was talking about the aspect that, okay... Yeah, thank you, Duffy. It was staying at a dollar, right? So picture, if you're putting your money in there, you don't have an upside because it's supposed to stay at a dollar. But we know now that you do have a downside because the downside, bottom line, um, they can break a dollar. So it's like, why would you keep it in, in tether? You know, I mean, that's, the, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's insane. I mean, you really think about it, it really is. Some of the higher volume, oh yeah, so after the close today, let's go see. Well, first, let's do the higher volume equities out here today. Um, the higher volume equities out here today, we got Apple's up 460, you got uh, NVIDIA. Look at NVIDIA's flat. That's pretty bad that NVIDIA's flat, I can tell you that, man. You know how many times I've, I've always explained that the NDX leads the market up and it leads the market down. And you can see it's flat. Marbell right now is up uh, 37 cents. You got uh, Tesla. Uh, yeah, so you want to see something, Tesla? This is a ABC structure down to 502. This broke the B point on Friday, broke it with volume. Look at this, baby. Larry was talking about the amount of ABC structures down in the marketplace, too. And they, they have, let me tell you, folks, they're all over the place. It's pretty amazing. So you got your A point up here was at uh, 955. Your B point is 728 you need volume of uh 46 million we broke the b with 48 million and that sets up a 502 and if we go over here and take a look at this man the thing is just amazing to me is that it, when you talk about a 502 and you're talking about how many shares that elon sold out in the 1200s it's unbelievable i mean this is a total breakdown you know 539 is the bottom of the consolidation it's in your next stop is, oh, that's interesting. Look at this. This is that the high of the, look at this, Bob, man. This is, so the monthly, the high of September 2020 is, happens to be 502 also, which is just a mind blower, you know? So if you break that, guess what, man? This is like be a disaster beyond belief. You're talking about $130, man. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, 130 bucks. Let's see what other equities we have high vol volume in today. You got um, Microsoft's up six six 
$6.73. What happened with Microsoft out here today, now see this is, gets intriguing. This is where, you know, as you get some news flow that can move the market. There's an article on Bloomberg today, folks, and this is what it was, that all these hedge funds, and this always happens, they're always in the same stocks. They didn't get out of the stocks fast enough, okay, so they're all losing money. And you know, still the, big, the biggest hedge funds in the world, right? Every single one of them own Microsoft. So I suspect what you have out there is that, guess what? That means people are buying it. But guess what? Microsoft doesn't even have any strength. It's unbelievable. It's up $6.99. The high of Friday was two fifty eight fifty four. You had volume of $39 million, and guess what? <laughs> You're doing $24 million. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 590. You get the NASDAQ up 137. S&Ps are up 64. Let's go back to Tesla because you, ha you have questions about the context of like, okay, when can it hit the ABC structure? So what happens, folks, is this. ABCs, up or down, the A to B is a straight line move. The C to D goes all over the place. And the... A, B, C, yeah, no. The B to C is all over the place. The C to D is a straight line move. In Tesla's place, the bottom line is it's showing <laughs> pretty bad how weak it is because it couldn't even consolidate. So look at this for a second. I just want to show you this. So when Tesla was up at 11.52, right? Let's say 11.52, that was done in April, okay? So what you had is this. You, you had a leg down, 11.52, went down to 974. And then, you know, bottom line, you built some cars up for like about 10 days, took the next leg down, next leg took you from this uh, 1092 
down to 820. You consolidate for only six days. The next one, guess what? You're talking about one day, and then you went south. So if you're, I suspect the reason for the question is that if you're going in the option market, so if you're going in the option market, let me just look at this calendar for a second. So you got to remember something here. What's going on where we're at calendar-wise is that, okay, so you have June 17th, option expiration next June I mean, this June is quick, but that's still a month. I'd say we're down there by a month. Yeah, June 17th. And then, so look at this, Fed, F-E-D. We're going to pull this Fed up because looking at this, this is where I think this, when you start speculating as to what, what can happen here. So we'll look at the Fed calendar, right? So the way the Fed calendars run out is this, is that we are going to have uh, a Fed meeting June 15th. So June 15th, bottom line, I can expect, you know, no doubt, uh, what did I say? Oh, this gets interesting. June, oh, look at that. And option expiration is the 17th. Well, it still gives you plenty of time, uh, but that's going to be highly volatile, no doubt. So I suspect what you're going to have is this. June 15th, bottom line, they're still going to do the half a point. July 27th, uh, my take is that this market's going to be so smoked that, you know, that they're not going to do a full half a point. They'll do a quarter point. They'll come up with some aspect, you know, because if they, if they do, man, um, this is not going to be cool, um, you know, market-wise. But that's, how, that's my thinking on it. If we go over to Amazon, let's take a look at Amazon. It's like even on a day like today, that Amazon's down. It's like, I really? Now, it, it's rejecting lower price out here. It's, it's going into 6.6 uh, 6 million. But guess what? That's 4.5 million. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of shares for Amazon, 4.5 million. In this type of market, there's, there's no doubt. It's, you know, and the way that, let's go to the, actually, let me put this on monthly for a second. No, I'm going to go to, close that, because I want to go to advanced micro. Because when you have the NASDAQ up, and this kind of getting the action. Yep, this is still, this is building costs a lower price. But, you know, your last bounce, let me put this on a monthly. I'll put it on a monthly. There's a weekly. Okay, so it's got plenty of support here. Yeah. I mean, when you look at AMD, the bottom line, it traded from 87 to 90 going from uh, August of 2020 to July of 2021. So it traded there for a full year. It's going to be hard to break that down. You don't, you know, you can see the type of volume though you come down with. We came down with monster volume. Um, and the bottom line is that what ends up happening um, is that that's the first basically slamming of the floor that is putting a hole in the floor and that's what building cause is all about. That's what it comes down to. If we go into the Dow Industrials and we take a look at the Dow Industrials, what we have with the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Oh, I can't wait to break up, bring out J.P. Morgan. Um, Jamie Dimon must be getting a little bit nervous. He got nervous with his, uh, his shareholders and his board because the bottom line is that they only 30% of the board voted, uh, the shareholders rather, that he should get a raise. Okay, Then he started paying attention to them. This all happened last week. And then he came out this morning saying that he thought that there are storm clouds, but that's it, storm clouds. So as soon as you start seeing the banks uh, basically pumping up the market, you know that there's more trouble. Uh, and today's market, you have Goldman up putting 72 positive points, J.P. Morgan 54, United Health 52, Visa 47, Microsoft 48. Taken away from it, Home Depot 5, Dow DuPont 3.5, no big deal. But let's go over and take a look at J.P. Morgan right now, J.P.M. And, oh, look, at he got it going, man. He got it going. He's got, he's got some strength here. So in the last six months, this is down from 169. Um, they, they got it going. He got it going today. He's got volume, but it hasn't been able to take out the first swing. The first swing is 127.40. Made up to 126.57. But this is this certainly, he's got wide price spread going. So you, you're going to get a little bounce here. And... You know, the bottom line is that the market uh, is paying attention to uh, where he's at right now. Let me just look at this calendar again. The June 10th, right. Um, 
Apple. Let's go over, take a look at that. AAPL. Apple's got a bounce going out here. That bounces. Now, look at Apple, though. This is all. Uh, okay, so this bounces without volume. Apple, you know, bottom line, we did uh, 137 million shares on Friday. Right now, you're doing 96. You know, you're over the high. Yeah, yeah, this can, you know, this can go up to ice. Ice is laying out here at 151. Right now, you're at 142. You know, so you can, you can get some traction. Let's go to Home Depot because uh, Home Depot is the only one inside the Dow that's giving a little trouble. Probably just going sideways. Yeah, this is going sideways at 286. We pull this out, put it into a weekly. Well, look at that. That was some weak. Okay, so you, this also, this is going to take some time in order to break down at, these, at this level. Meaning that it traded from, uh, let's see, August of 2020 going all the way over to... Uh, March of 2021. So when you see something like that, that, that's a level that, you know, bottom line is hard to break on the way down. You get a floor established. The problem that this market has is that the market went up so fast without basically resting that when you do that, the, you know, you can go down just as fast. And that's, you know, what we've had thus far. We go take a look at the uh, IWM. Now, this one's going to get intriguing. If, you, if you're bullish, folks, all right, the IWM is something you're going to want to keep your eye on. The reason being is this. this. It's twofold. The first one is that the IWM started down way before the market. You know, the bottom line is that, you know, the last, the last high in the IWM was the same high. It was in November. But what you had is that basically, you know, November it stopped piling down at 244. We got down to the 168 area. You know, there's a gap that's still open at 165. So I think that's going to get filled. But I can see the, the IWM, you know, bouncing up uh, into, you know, 196. You're at 177. You know, you can see that because what should happen is that with the dollar going south, we should see a lot of the small materials Gold, silver, iron ore, you'll see a lot of these smaller stocks start moving higher. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 602. NASDAQ is up uh, 157. S&P's up 67. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run 
or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 563. You get the NASDAQ up 137. S&Ps are up 62. Let's go take a look at a few stocks for a couple of the Tigers out here. Uh, okay, where am I here? One second. Pinterest. Sorry, folks. I just lost my space here. Okay. I see Etsy and E-T-S-Y. Etsy. Okay, so we do Etsy first. This is trading 75.25. The low, that's today, 72.66. The high is 307. This is trading at a 23 PE. Okay, so we bring this back like three years first. So this is a one-way route down from 3, 307. Yeah, I wouldn't be biting on this yet. So what you have is this. We got down, you know, to $72. When you bring this back the other side, 81's the high of that bar when it's that breaking top side, but the bottom of that bar is 63. So I'd let this be, man. Because so now th this is, when you look at a chart like this also, folks, this is what you want to understand that you can go back to May of 2020 and every person that bought that is in a losing position. That's never a good place to be. That's, you know, you're talking about two different things. You're talking about the supply line going on the way up is incredible. You know, the bottom line is, you know, wait, I'd wait for that to get down to that uh, 63 area. That's the bottom line. And uh, Instagram, I think. I gotta find. Is it, is it called Instagram? That's what it is, right? Let me see. Let's go take a look at Coca Cola first. So, Coca Cola, let's take a look at Coke. So, Coke, they're coming out with the numbers July 21st, lows 52, the high 67. You're trading at 62.82. Yeah, this is nasty. So, man, you talk about taking a hit. This came down last week from 65 to 60. You don't see, you know, the, the bottom line, when I say taking a hit with Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola doesn't move like we saw it move last week. In the pandemic, yeah, you, you can see that three weeks, it went from 59 down to the 36. But most times, you don't see these monster moves. In, in Coke's place, um, this came down with volume. So first off, it has to retest the 59 area. Um, and let me just see this for a second. So close that. And it, it also broke the trend that started out at 52, and it broke that with volume. Uh, you know, a bottom line, it has wide price spread. You know, you get volume expanded. And so, you know, I mean, if you're looking to basically sell Coke, um, the way to do that is just wait until the end of this week. But I suspect what you're gonna see here, if the market can hold out here today, which 
you know, it's going to be, it's getting a little weak into the close. Um, you know, but I think it's, even if we get a failure out here today, I don't see another dive down this week. I, I see it kind of flatlining, going sideways. Uh, that'll be bad, though. That's the bottom line. You know, if, if this market, the, the best thing this market could have done, but I, I think we're too early into the whole deal, because you, you, is that it could have basically accelerated down on Friday, did a full ABC structure on the way down, then you would get a bounce and a half. Um, but we didn't get it. And I don't expect we're going to get it because what you have here is that you have an aspect of we're coming into the Memorial Day weekend. That's going to lighten things up. And we're coming into the worst time of the year for this to happen because what you can see is that we could go sideways for a month or something. And then all of a sudden you start. And if we start, I mean, I remember, you know, the agent contagion, that baby um, started strongly in about the second week. I think it was July 14th, and once that started down, that did not end, okay, until October. It might have been the end of September, uh, but the bottom line is that you had some uh, heavy destruction that was going on there. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. So you got raw stores is up 9%. Well, it should be because it was down 15 to 20 last week. You got uh, Palo Alto is up 4%. You get Vertex Pharmaceutical up 3 Taken away from it. Autodesk is down 4.8. You get Broadcom up 4. Broadcom is looking to buy VWare. You have uh, Match Group uh, off 2.5%. Uh, two so let's go take a look at Autodesk for a second. Autodesk is down 9.22. This is coming out with its numbers uh, May 26. So that's coming up. That's going to be this week. And this is a low for this year. Uh, we pull this up. Look at this. This went after the lows this morning. Going to have around the same amount of shares. Man, this. So, see, when you look at an Autodesk, folks, and it's already into the trading from when the COVID started in February and March of 2020, this is a problem, man. This is a big problem because. This is saying, you know, this equity also went from 344, it's at 182, made a low today at 149, oh no, no, 173 rather. And you got a high volume low that's laying out here at uh, 125. You know, so that's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a problem child in a huge way, saying that guess what? It, it can get down to those, those lower numbers. That's how, that's how that shakes out, man, you know, so. You know, many, many of these equities have already basically showed that that's what they're looking to do, meaning they got into those lows. Okay, so the chat's then showing up. Why not? Let me fix this again. Share your screen. Yeah, I want to share the screen. Let's see. Why is that done? Okay, one, just give me one second. I'll get this thing done. This was actually up on me earlier. Okay, screen, screen. You see this Fed's balance sheet. That's still up, huh? Interesting. Okay, thanks, Duffy. Let me see. That just means I got the wrong one up. I got so many screens up here. One second, I'll find it. I think I got too many windows open. I got what, what's happened with Bloomberg now. I can open as many windows as I want, which is insane. But that's what's happening. That's why this is screwed up right now. Is that it? I see. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I'll work off this one. I gotta figure out what number screen that is. That should do it. Let's just let me know if that does it, please. Yeah. Okay, Dow right now uh, up 525. The Nasdaq's up 143. S&Ps are up uh, 59. So let's go take a look at the S&P. So the last buy some volume. You're inside 39.58. Now, okay, so this 39.58 is crucial because if you if we break inside it, then the bottom line is that uh, well, the bottom is not that bad. One second, huh? The bottom is only 39. 
Oh, it's 39.37. No. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 546. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 150. S&Ps are up 61. Let's go take a look at the indice volume because I suspect this is going to fall off uh, pretty dramatically out here today. So inside the NYSE right now, you're at 651. We did 1.2 on Friday, so that'll that'll I think that'll do less than a billion, and that's a, that's that's a fall off for sure. We take a look at the Nasdaq Composite. The Composite right now is at four billion. We did 5.4, so the Composite's not even going to do uh, five billion. And if we go over and we take a look at this Composite right now. Yeah, the composite couldn't even get over the highs of Friday. The highs of Friday are uh, 11,552. And we, oh, look at this. Oh, man, that's crazy. Actually, it did get over it. It hit 11,552.07. And the high was 11,552.21. So I got, got over it. It closes out here. It's still, it's still saying that, yeah, that can get up to higher price in the next few days. That's how this thing is shaking out at this particular point. Let's go take a look at, uh, let's see, Google. Oh, no, I know Zoom. Zoom's coming out with numbers right after the close. Let's, this, this equity, let's take a look at this. So Zoom, the low for the year is 79. The high is 407. And I think that, is that the year of Zoom? I, I felt like Zoom was actually higher than that. But I just go back 12 months. Yeah, so the high in Zoom was 588. 
And what you have with Zoom, okay, so Zoom, 78, 79 has volume that hasn't been tested. 92, 77 is your, as your broke top side. Yeah. Come on. Hey, let me look at this. Yeah, well, you know what? Even though, um, this looks like it can pop a little. Not much, but it looks like it can pop a little. It's got to be interesting, man. Talk about a bloodbath, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, savage, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show, folks. Building wealth.